Good day everyone, my name is Mike Worley. I'm chief designer and owner of Simbach Designs. I spent 20 years administering federal employment and training programs before I ventured forth as a designer of websites. Now I'm recalling all that experience and training to develop e-learning programs. First and foremost, these programs will be short, simple, and effective. And like so many of the other tutorials out there, these will work for you. This is the first of our line of simple and free tutorials. It will show you how to wrap text around objects in Photoshop. Yes, I know there's a lot of similar tutorials out there, but this one is simple and easy to implement. It really will work for you. The demonstration employs Photoshop CS6 Extended, but it will work in most any version of Photoshop issued in the last 10 years. Here's what we want to do. We have two objects in this piece, a nice looking man and the Simbach logo. We want to wrap our text around the outline of the man and the logo. I'll show you how to do this in less than a minute. First we want to define the upper and the lower limits of our text container and we do that by using guides. So go to view, new guide, select horizontal and let's just say we'll put the position at one inch and OK. Alright, then we go to the move tool and move the guide up to the top of his hair. Then we create the lower limit guide. We go to view, new guide, vertical, no we want horizontal. And then 7 inches will work for me. So we go OK. And then again we use the move tool to move the guide down to the top of the text and the logo. And this defines the upper and the lower limits of our text container. Now we use the pen tool to create the path that will ultimately be the container. And we select the pen tool. And what we want is not shape, but path. We want to create a path. Okay, and be sure that this is set to combine shapes rather than subtract or something like that. Alright, now we start drawing our path. We start at the top, we go around his head. Make it fairly close together so you'll get the good curve down his shoulder to the lower limits of our container. Then go over to the orange orb and go around it slowly. Alright, then we want to go up perpendicular to the guides so that we get an even container. Now this is real important. You want that circle to con close the container for our text. Alright, now we go to the horizontal text tool. You see how it creates a round funny little squiggly mark? We just put our cursor inside there and a container is formed. Now, we want to make sure that our text properties are set first because it's a lot easier to change them now than it will be once we put the text in there. So aerial looks good, regular looks good, 14 point looks good, and left align looks good. I have some text on the clipboard, so I just hit Control V, and it flows into the container. Now you'll notice one thing, you see all this hyphenation? Alright, we don't want that. So you go down to the paragraph window, and you unclick hyphenate. And that's all there is to it. You see how it works? And it looks good. If you found this useful, subscribe to this channel, go to Simbach Design and see what we can do for you, and we thank you for your intention.